Okay, so today we are differentiating x to the power of x and x to the power of x to the power of x and so on as well. This, this rule that we're going to learn um, applies, or this method, sorry, applies for um, any number of, of x's in the power. And you just follow the same method, basically. So this is very, very useful if you are taking A-level maths or A-level further maths and you plan to do maybe maths at university because these come up quite regularly in, uh, in, in interview questions uh, for universities. Um, I had a friend who got differentiate x to the power of x as their interview question. So if you can do it straight off the bat, then you will be in good stead. Um, also, if you're preparing for entrance exams, um, I, I did this step, uh, the Cambridge step exam over the summer, and that had the x to the power of x to the power of x um, as one of the practice questions. Um, so yeah, it is. Uh, it comes up quite a lot. Um, if you're not doing any of those things, it's still fun to uh, fun to differentiate, in my opinion, because it looks quite difficult. And if you were to give this to a um, someone just learning derivatives or calculus, then it's something that they will trip up on. Um, so it's important that we that we learn how to do it. Anyway, uh, let's begin. So, um, beginning, uh, so we're just going to write y equals x to the power of x. So, okay, here's our function, x to the power of x. Cool. Well, there's no rule that we can straight away just apply to this. So we've got the chain rule, the product rule, the, and the quotient rule at our disposal when differentiating. None of those apply here because we don't have two functions of, of x. So we can't use the product rule. We can't use the chain rule and we can't use the quotient rule. So what do we actually do? Well, we have to get the, 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 the equation here into a form that can be differentiated, okay? Because it currently cannot be differentiated. We want to get into a form that can be. So the way we do that is we, we are going to take natural logs of both sides. So taking natural logs of both sides, we get ln of y equals ln of x to the power of x, okay? So we've just taken the natural log of both sides. Uh, now, if you know your laws of logarithms, then you should be able to spot that if you've got a power, then you can bring that to the front of the logarithm, like so. It basically just comes down from the power and sits out front of the log. So in doing that, we get ln of y equals x ln of x. Okay, so that has literally, the x has just been brought down in front of the log. Okay. Well, this is now in a form that we can differentiate, okay? This is now in a form that we can differentiate. So we didn't actually do much work here um, to, to get it into a form that can be differentiated. Um, so let's go ahead and differentiate it. Now, we've got a function of y being this and functions of x. So we've got functions of x and functions of another variable. So that means we have to differentiate implicitly. Okay, we have to differentiate implicitly. So what we have to do is we have to go through and differentiate each term separately. Okay, so differentiating ln of y. So this is the first thing that we're going to differentiate. Well, if that was, uh, and so differentiating with respect to x, I should say, um, there's the dx. Okay, so if that was ln of x, then the derivative would just be 1 over x, right? But we've got a y here. So the way we do this, the way, the way you deal with it, is you differentiate it as if it, as if it was an x. So we're going to differentiate it as if it was an x, but it is a y. And then the only thing that's different is that you add a dy dx um, and like on the end of it, essentially. So that's what ln of y is, differentiated with respect to x. You differentiate it as if it was an x, and then you add the dy dx onto the end of it. Okay, brilliant. So we've differentiated ln of y. Now we need to differentiate x ln of x. Now I want you to have a think, which um, differentiation rule are we going to use to differentiate x ln of x? Um, well, I'll give you a second, but hopefully you should realise it is the product rule because we've got two functions of x times by each other. We've got this x and we've got this ln of x. Those are two different functions of x that are times by each other, so we have to use the product rule. Okay, so in doing that, um, well, how do we actually do the product rule? Well, we have to label the two functions. So I'm going to label the x the u, and I'm going to label the ln of x the v. Okay, so if I just go over here really quick. So we've got 
u being x and we've got v being ln of x. Okay, so that means that du dx is equal to 1. And that means that dv dx is equal to, well, what is ln of x differentiated? It's 1 over x. Okay, there we go. Now, to actually apply the product rule, you just times the u by the dv dx, and then you add it on to the du dx times by the v. Okay, hopefully you should all know the product rule by now. Um, I will actually write it out here. So we've got u dv dx plus v du dx, like so. Okay, so actually writing in what we've got, we've got 1 over y dy dx is equal to u dv dx. So that is going to be um, x times 1 over x. Now, x times 1 over x just gives you 1 because the x is cancel out. Okay, then we have got to add v du dx. So that is ln of x times by 1. Well, ln of x times by 1 is, of course, ln of x. Okay, brilliant. We have just differentiated x ln x, and we got 1 plus ln x. Okay, we are almost there. Now, when we differentiate, we are trying to get dy dx on its own. We're trying to get dy dx equal something. If we manage to achieve this, then we know we have differentiated the function. So that's, what, that's where we're aiming. Well, how can we get there from what we've got so far? Well, we've got the dy dx right here, but what do we have along with it? We've got this 1 over y that sort of just sat there along with it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to times both sides of the equation by y. So we're going to times both sides by y because that will, that will cancel with the one down here and we'll just be left with dy dx on its own. So we've got dy dx is equal to y times by 1 plus ln x. So hopefully it's fairly self-explanatory what I did here. We just times both sides of the equation by y. Well, we're almost there because we've got dy dx equals, but then we've got a mixture of y's and x's. And that, in some situations, is good enough. In our situation, that is not good enough. We want it in terms of x only. And so we have to sort out this y. Well, what is y? in relation to our question. If I scroll up, what did we say y was? Well, we said y was x to the power of x. That's what y is. So when we go down here and we, we, we're, trying to, we're trying to figure out what do we replace y with, well, it's just x to the power of x. And so our answer is x to the power of x times by one plus ln of x. There we go. And that's the final answer to the question. So the derivative of x to the power of x is x to the power of x times 1 plus ln x. There we go. That's our final answer. OK. Now, if you want, you can stop there. We will now be differentiating x to the power of x to the power of x. That is what we will do now. So we've got y equals x to the power of x to the power of x. OK, well, we do the exact same process. We, we, we want to deal with these annoying x's in the exponent. And so we're going to take the natural log again. So we're going to do ln of y equals um, ln of x to the power of x to the power of x. Now, as we mentioned, um, using the law, laws of logs, the power can come down in front of the ln. So in doing that, we get ln of y equals x to the power of x times by ln of x. Okay, and then we, we can differentiate from here. Um, so if we differentiate, let's go ahead and do it. And again, we're going to be doing it implicitly. So the derivative of ln of y, well, as we mentioned earlier, that is 1 over y dy dx. OK, because we treated the y as if it was an x to get that 1 over y. And then we add the dy dx on, on the side of it because we have a y, not an x, basically. OK, and then we have got another instance of the product rule. We've got x to the power of x times by ln of x. And we're trying to differentiate it. Um, so two functions of x times by each other, we use the product rule. 
Okay, so let's set, um, actually, let me just move this to one side. There we go. So let's set u to be x to the power of x and v to be ln x, okay? So u is x to the power of x, v is ln of x. Okay, well, if u is x to the power of x, then what is du dx? Well, we actually figured that out a minute ago. du dx, or um, x to the power of x differentiated, is x to the power of x times by 1 plus ln of x. So that's our derivative. x to the power of x times by 1 plus ln x. Okay, and what's dv dx here? Well, ln of x differentiated, ln of x differentiated, is just 1 over x. So that's what we've got. Okay, and then applying the product rule again, so timesing these two things together, you get x to the power of x times by 1 over x. So that's just, oh, let's not do it in red. So that's just x to the power of x over x. We will do a lot of simplification um, in a moment. Then we're going to add on the product of the du dx and the v. So that's ln x times x to the power of x times 1 plus ln x. So that's going to be uh, x to the power of x ln x times 1 plus ln x. There we go. Okay, almost there again. Um, well, we've got this, this y down here. Um, so we're going to times both sides of the equation by y. That and that cancel. And we get that dy dx is equal to y times by x to the power of x over x plus x to the power of x ln of x times 1 plus ln of x. Okay, almost there. What did we say y was in the beginning? What did we say it was? Well, y was nothing other than x to the power of x to the power of x. So we've got dy dx is equal to x to the power of x to the power of x times by x to the power of x over x plus x to the power of x ln of x, 1 plus ln of x. There we go. Um, we can go ahead and factor out an x to the power of x here. So, so this, this as your final answer is completely fine. Um, I will just have a quick go at simplifying it. So in fact, we could box this because this is completely fine as your final answer. So this is what x to the power of x to the power of x is differentiated. There's your final answer. Let's go ahead and simplify it a bit though. This is unnecessary um, and probably actually won't get me very far, but let's just factor out the x to the power of x just because it's bugging me. So we get dy dx is equal to um, x to the power of x to the power of x times by x to the power of x um, times by 1 over x plus ln of x plus ln squared of x. There we go, or, or, or ln of x squared. There we go. I think that is a, honestly, I think that's a cooler form um, than, the, than the one we have above. But the one above is perfectly acceptable. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, that is how you differentiate x to the power of x to the power of x. And this is how you differentiate x to the power of x. Thank you for watching. And also thank you for a thousand subscribers. Uh, really appreciate it.